Dear students, welcome to Divya's Max Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 7, Integrals, Exercise 7.9. Question number 1. Evaluate the definite integral. Integral minus 1 to 1, x plus 1, dx. So here we are going to do the integration. Correct. So this one we can write it as i equal to integral minus 1 to 1, x plus 1, dx. So first we can write the integral answer right so integral answer means separate integral x dx plus integral 1 dx so what is the integral of x x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 that means here x means x square by 2 plus integral of 1 so integral of 1 is x right so within the limit minus 1 to 1 so how we are going to apply the limit upper limit minus lower limit Upper limit is here 1 and lower limit is minus 1. So here we are applying instead of x we are writing 1. Then next the lower limit we are applying minus 1. So upper limit. So 1 square that is 1 by 2 plus 1 minus lower limit. Lower limit is minus 1. Minus 1 square is 1 only. 1 by 2. Instead of x what we need to write minus 1. So minus 1. Next we can open the right hand. 1 by 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus minus plus right so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 0 1 plus 1 is 2 so what is the answer 2 is the answer second one question number 2 integral 2 to 3 1 by x dx integral 2 to 3 1 by x dx so this one also we can take it as i equal to integral 2 to 3 1 by x dx correct so integral 1 by x dx is what is the answer log x only right log x within the limit 2 to 3 so upper limit minus lower limit log upper limit is 3 minus lower limit is log 2 so log a minus log b how we can write log a by b only right that means log 3 by to answer. Next, question number 3. Integral 1 to 2 4x cube minus 5x square plus 6x plus 9 dx. So, here also we need to do the integration first, then we can apply the limit. Correct. So, i is equal to Integral 1 to 2 4x cube minus 5x square plus 6x plus 9 dx. So we can apply the integration first. 4 is a constant. Integral of x cube is x raised, x raised to 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1. That means x power 4 by 4 minus 5 into integral x square. 5 is a constant. Integral of x square is x cube by 3 plus 6 is a constant. Integral of x is x square by 2. Plus 9 is a constant. Integral dx is x. Right. So within the limit 1 to 2. Here we can apply the limit. So before that just we can simplify. 4, 4 cancel. Here 6 and 2 cancel. So remaining is x power 4 minus 5x cube by 3 plus 3x square plus 9x within the limit 1 to 2. Now we can apply the upper limit. Upper limit is 2. That means 2 cube. 2 cube is 16, right? Minus 5 into 2 cube. 2 cube is 8. 8 into 5 is 40. 40 by 3 plus 2 square is 4. 4 into 3 is 12. Plus 9 into 2 is 18. Minus lower limit instead of x we are writing 1 so 1 power 4 is 1 minus 5 by 3 plus 3 plus 9 here we can open the bracket and simplify 16 minus 40 by 3 plus this one we can add 12 plus 18 is 30 30 minus 1 here minus minus plus 5 by 3 these two 9 plus 3 is 12. So, minus 12. Open the bracket means minus 12. Correct. So, the whole terms we can add together. That means um, 16 minus 1 is 15 
plus 15 plus 15 minus 12 is plus 3 right so plus 3 so 30 plus 3 is 33 minus 40 by 3 plus 15 denominator is same means numerator we can write together correct so minus 40 plus 5 by 3 that is equal to 33 minus 35 by 3 Let's cross multiply 33 into 3 is 99 minus 35 the whole divided by 3 99 minus 35 is for 60 64 right 64 by 3 64 by 3 is the answer. Question number 4. Integral 0 to pi by 4 sin 2x dx. First we can do the integration. Then we can apply the limit. Integral 0 to pi by 4 sin 2x dx. Correct. So integral of sin x. Integral of sin x is what? Minus cos x. Here it is minus cos 2x divided by 2 right so this 2x integral we are taking means divided by 2 only right so integral sin 2x is minus cos 2x by 2 the coefficients we need to write within the limit 0 to pi by 4 so here this minus 1 by 2 is a constant that I can write outside after that we can apply the limit that means cos 2 pi by 4 instead of x I can write pi by 4 minus lower limit lower limit is cos uh, zero, uh, x is 0 that means 2 into 0 is 0 cos 0 so minus 1 by 2 here 2 that means cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 answer is 0 minus cos 0 is 1 correct so minus 1 by 2 this is 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2 answer next uh, question number 5 So this one also we can write as question number 5 is integral 0 to pi by 4 cos 2x dx right. So i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 cos 2x dx. So this one we can write as first we can write the integral answer. Integral cos x is sin x here it is sin 2x divided by 2. This uh, coefficient we need to write the uh, divided by only right. So uh, differentiation means into we need to write. Uh, in the integration means question we need to write divide by 0 to pi by 4. So now we can apply the limit upper limit minus lower limit. 1 by 2 is a constant sin 2 into pi by 4 minus sin 0. 2 into 0 is 0 that is 2 and 4 cancel. So one, one small two. correction uh, the limit is integral 0 to pi by 2. Pi by 2. So pi by 2. 2 2 cancel. So remaining is sin pi minus sin 0. So 1 by 2 into sin pi is 0. Sin 0 is also 0. So the answer is 0. Next, sixth one. Sixth one is integral 4 to 5 e raised to x dx. So i is equal to integral 4 to 5 e raised to x dx. Integral e raised to x is e raised to x only, right? So e raised to x within the limit 4 to 5. Upper limit minus lower limit. Upper limit is 5 minus lower limit is 4. e raised to 5 minus e raised to 4. So th this one we can write as answer or from these two terms we can take one e raised to 4 is common or e raised to 4 is common means what is remaining? This is e minus 1. Like this also we can write or like this also we can write answer. Question number 7. Integral 0 to pi by 4 tan x dx. So we can write i equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 tan x dx. So first we can write the integral answer. Integral tan x is log secant x right. Log secant x. Log secant x within the limit 0 to pi by 4 right. So we can apply the limit that means log secant pi by 4 minus log secant 0. So log secant pi by 4 is root 2. Correct. Log mod root 2 minus log secant 0 is 1. That means log 1. So log a minus log b is log a by b we can write. Correct. 
or otherwise um, no need to write log one is what log one answer is zero only right so that answer we can write log root two minus log one is zero so what is the answer log of root two we can write this is the answer log root two we can write otherwise uh, how we can write this log root two means this root how we can explain this ro uh, root means this is equal to log root means 2 power 1 by 2 we can write correct so log 2 power 1 by root 2 is same as 2 power 1 by 2 so log x raised to n is what log x raised to n means n log x only right so using this identity this one how we can write 1 by 2 log 2 we can write 1 by 2 log 2 also we can write answer Question number 8. Integral pi by 6 to pi by 4 cosecant x dx. So first we can write the cosecant x answer, right? So integral cosecant x is log cosecant x minus cot x, right? Log mod cosecant x minus cot x with the limit pi by 6 to pi by 4. Now we can apply the limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. That means log mod cosecant pi by 4 minus cot pi by 4 this is upper limit minus lower limit that means log cosecant pi by 6 minus cot pi by 6 right now we can write the answer log mod cosecant pi by 4 cosecant pi by 4 is root 2 minus cot pi by 4 is 1 minus log mod cosecant pi by 6 cosecant pi by 6 is 2 cot pi by 6 is root 3 2 minus root 3 correct so this one we can write as log a minus log b log a minus log b is log a by b only right that means log root 2 minus 1 by 2 minus pi by 6 is root 3. Sorry. Cot pi by 6 is root 3. That means 2 minus root 3. So root 2 minus 1 by 2 minus root 3 we can write. So this is the answer. Log log mod root 2 minus 1 by 2 minus root 3. Question number 9. I equal to integral 0 to 1. 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx. So integral. This is in the form of integral root of. Integral root of 1 by 1 minus a square minus x square right so 1 means we write as 1 square so a square minus x square is what sin inverse x by a right sin inverse x by a this integral only here we are applying so this one become i equal to sin inverse x here x means what x only by a here a means 1 that means x by 1 within the limit 0 to one. Now we can apply the limit. That is upper limit is sin inverse 1 minus lower limit is sin inverse 0. Sin inverse 1. For sin which value is 1? Sin pi by 2 is 1. Correct. We know that sin pi by 2 is 1. So which value sin is 0? Sin 0 is 0. Right. So inverse means sin of which value is 1? Sin which value is 1? Pi by 2. So sin inverse 1 means what? pi by 2 for which value sin is 0 sin 0 is 0 that means sin inverse 0 is 0 so pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2 answer question number 10 i equal to integral 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus x square dx so now we can see in the form of integral 1 by integral 1 by a square plus x square right a square plus x square dx is what 1 by a tan inverse x by a right 1 by a tan inverse x by a using this integral we can write as i equal to here 1 by a here a means what 1 only that means 1 by 1 tan inverse x by a value is 1 correct so within the limit 0 to 1 so upper limit is tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0. Here also tan which value is 1 tan pi by 4 is 1 correct tan pi by 4 is equal to 1 tan which value is 0 tan 0 is 
0. So what is tan inverse 1 pi by 4? Tan inverse 0 is 0. So what is the answer? Pi by 4 is the answer. Next question number 11. Integral 2 to 3 1 by x square minus 1 dx. So this is in the form of integral x square minus a square, right? So this is integral 1 by x square minus a square dx. 1 by x square minus a square dx is 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a, right? So this one become, this one we can take it as i equal to, so i equal to integral 1 by 2a, that means 1 by 2, here a means, this is 1 square only, right? That means 2 into 1 log x minus a, that means x minus 1 by x plus 1 within the limit 2 to 3. Here also we can apply the limit, so before that this, um, ah, you can apply the limit, 1 by 2 log mod 3, upper limit is 3, 3 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 minus lower limit. If you want, we can take the 1 by 2 out. Anyway, I am writing 2 other only. 1 by 2 log 1 by 2 log 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Right. From these two terms, I can take one 1 by 2 out. Otherwise, like this also, we can write 1 by 2 log 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 1 by 2 log more 2 minus 1 is 1 2 plus 1 is 3 correct so this from one, these two terms 1 by 2 i am writing outside this log 1 by 2 mod 1 by 2 minus log mod 1 by 3 log a minus log b is log a by b only right so 1 by 2 log 1 by 2 by 1 by 3. That means into 3 by 1. Correct. Reciprocal we are writing means. So this is equal to 1 by 2 log mod 3 by 2. And this is log a by b. That means 1 by 2 by 1 by 3 means 1 by 2 into 3 by 1 we can write. Answer.